Coach, if you'd start with a, a recap of the opening weekend of conference play for your team. Uh, well, on one game, I was really uh, did not like the eighth inning. And then in the last game, it was my favorite inning ever. So, um, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't the, the, the good weekend that we that we wanted to have. Um, anytime you drop a series, especially in a in a really uh, condensed conference schedule, uh, it kind of puts you behind the eight ball to, to achieve the goals that you want to have. Uh, but the fact of being able to get get out of there uh, when you're you know down by six runs late in the ball game, uh, we got out of there with one and uh, kind of kept our head above water. Um, you know this team still hasn't played um, consistent good baseball, the, the kind that we know that we're capable of doing. We've shown um, we've shown all the ingredients, just not all at the same time. And uh, you know. So uh, again, uh, it's hard to win a college baseball game. It's really easy to screw one up. Um, and we, we kind of showed uh, that sometimes, uh, even within the game that we won. Uh, but it's good to get out of there with one with, with a win. Um, and uh, obviously not satisfied with that. And uh, we're going to be playing a good team uh, this weekend, uh, going uh, down to Thibodeau. Um, and, uh, you know, looking forward to making some improvements um, and, you know, getting, getting to play some, some better baseball. Um. I guess the biggest question mark is the earned runs. You gave up five unearned runs. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of puts you, especially early in that one game, it kind of puts you behind the eight ball a little bit. I'm, I'm playing catch up. Um, is there anybody correct? Is that a pitching thing of getting out of jams? Is it not getting into jams? Is it? Yeah, it's probably miss. It, that, that's just probably a, as much of a team thing that it is anything. Um, and that's why the ability to strike people out is so. Uh, you know, such a such a big deal on teams that can win, uh, you know, because then you don't have as many runs crossed there. You know, they don't they don't they don't put an asterisk on the scoreboard when it's earned or not. Um, um, so, yeah, that, that's a, that's a team thing. The ability to make, you know, not have an inning kind of get away from you a little bit. Um, I, I think that's the that, that's one of the things you want to be good at. And that's part of being a good team. Uh, sometimes it's going to bite you um, and it does that. Uh, and it, it bit us this weekend. Uh, but, hey, let me, let me credit, uh, you know, what HBU did. I mean, uh, their bullpen was incredible, um, especially the first two games. Um, I think that at, at one point they had walked one, um, you know, over the two games and they recycled guys. I mean, so they, they, they made us – they, they deserve a lot of the credit of the things that we did. We did – you know, we, there were some things I think we could have done to uh, make some improvements, but they played to the lead really, really well. Um, and, uh, you know, we got behind and uh, the mistakes we made, either be on the mound or in the field, um, or, or the inability to get a run home without a hit, uh, kind of, you know, they, they took that and, and ran with it. And credit to them, they deserved to win the series. Um, and uh, I, I think that's something we can learn from. They, uh, they, they did pick up a series win, but that last win, that last game on Sunday, obviously, was, was a big one for, for your team. Is that kind of a one of those games where it's like kind of wakes you guys, you guys up and kind of as you move forward into like oh hey we can kind of yeah I mean I mean I, I I think it you know being able to win a game like that we haven't won a game like that um, this year um, I think that that kind of you know opens the the avenues of possibility that you have um, but as far as waking up I mean if we're not if we weren't awake already that's that's you know, that we got a different set of problems there so um, yeah I mean I do I think there's some some confidence issues. I do. I do. I think there's some confidence. I think there's some uh, probably more identity issues than it is anything. I think we're still trying to figure out who we are. Uh, some of that is on us. Some of that is just, hey, that's just how it works. I mean, you see Kate Hutter come in um, and, and do a great job catching for us, hitting the middle of the order, uh, you know, with the loss of, of Trey Obergon. I mean, so again, I think there's some things team wise we're still trying to figure out, um, but we got to figure it out, you know, uh, quickly because, uh, again, conference play is here. The lineup in, in general, you got Leslie got kind of going this weekend, especially yesterday. How important is that to get another bat in? I think it's big, especially being a right-handed bat. Um, and because, I mean, if you look at the guys we, that were rolling in there, I mean, it's, it's there, there's some guys you, you – it doesn't, you can't take them out. Like, like, and I say that they, they play such, you know, pivotal positions or, uh, you know, the, the, the depth at a certain spot just isn't there um, with, with some of the injuries that we have. Um, and so I think having a, another right-handed bat, especially in the ballpark we play in, plus it gives us some balance. Um, I mean, we, we, we know for two years, we were going to be a very uh, left-handed heavy team. Uh, so we got to find a way to win with that, but, you know, having another, another guy that can, um, 
be, be a, a true offensive threat that's right-handed to split those guys up, I think is really important for us. The mindset of a closer, he loses his first save. But you can't get him in the next two days, really, in that situation. So it kind of lingers. Do you want to get him in as quick as possible, though? No, he was he was heating up. If it at the at the point when it was it was a one run game, he was coming in the game. So I mean, I, I think the mindset um, the mindset was, hey, we got a chance to win this game, and so we're going to put you know uh, arguably our guy that's in that 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 shuts the game down against the other team. Um, and so he was going to be he was going in regardless. Uh, and actually, uh, it's one of those deals where we were going to. Uh, we, we had decided to put um, Shawn Michael Brady back in the game once we had stretched it out. And uh, I'll, I'll say that uh, Cameron uh, Foster came down and lobbied to get in the ball game. And I said, all I really wanted to do was win the game. He said, well, if I pitch, we'll win. So um, so I was like, okay, well, let's go do it. So, uh, so I, yeah, I think his want to was there. Um, and, uh, you know, and that was that was that was probably probably felt good to be able to get out there. I was glad uh, Shawn Michael got a win. I thought the um, I thought the bullpen did a great job for us uh, in a couple of games. You know, back to back games for us because um, we didn't get off to good starts in in the Saturday Sunday. Uh, the bullpen was really really good, and even some guys that hadn't pitched in a little bit. So uh, credit to them. And then I think you'll get a chance to see them. Um, you know, another opportunity here coming up Wednesday. I want to go back to Leslie for a second. This is just being his his second week. Back fully healthy, playing the whole series, and for him to have seven RBIs, a home run, and one of those in a huge spot. What does that mean, kind of going forward for him and your confidence in him and his confidence in himself? Well, I mean, we had confidence in him just based off of, of what we had seen from him. We we knew that there was going to be some. Uh, you know, just some some time, some game speed stuff that he had to kind of learn on the go. A lot of times you're able to learn that uh, during the preseason, but he obviously wasn't able to have that. Uh, so we believed in him. There was everybody in the dugout uh, believed in him, and, and I know he believed in himself and because he worked his tail off because he's been working ever since to be able to get back from surgery. Uh, so it was good to, to, for him to kind of have success because sometimes those numbers can 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 play tricks with your mind a little bit when that happens. Uh, but you know he's uh, he's he's a very mature kid. Uh, Extremely competitive, it's kind of one of those slow heartbeat guys, um, and uh, you know he balances us out pretty well. Do you like uh, Tuesdays or Wednesdays? Does it matter if it's a midweek game? Um, I, I think traditionally I've played Tuesdays. Um, this one I was trying to remember why this one worked out. I think we originally had a Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, but somebody had to move it, um, and then we didn't necessarily move it. Um, you know, I. I, I it's, it's which lesser of two evils you like. You know, it's nice to have a practice day before you play. Like, for instance, Tuesday going to practice because you're going to traditionally take off Monday because you need that day. Uh, even though it's mandated, there's a, there, there's a need for, for rest and there's a need for uh, school stuff and, and kind of getting away from the field um, and, and the coaches a little bit. I think that's important. Uh, but then you get the rest on the other side of it. So, um, you know, I'm kind of the mindset, unless it's a weather-related thing, um, you know, you play it where it's scheduled, you know, um, in, in one of those things. So um, we have been in talks with them about po possibly moving it up, um, but it does look like the weather's going to get out of here um, in time on Wednesday. Uh, but if we end up doing that, we'll obviously let everybody know. But we have we have had to move it up at the time of day or day? No, I think if we moved it, we would move it to Tuesday um, if we did. But I, I think I think playing the game late on, uh, I mean, the, at, at the scheduled time on Wednesday, it looks like it, the weather's going to be out of here. You mentioned a couple minutes ago about uh, confidence issues uh, for the team um, at this juncture with this team. Is there any particular levers that you that you can push to, to, to get that confidence turned, or is that something just that they have to get by playing the game and finding some success? Yeah, I, I yeah, I mean, I I, I think I think my responsibility um, in that is 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 making sure they know that I believe in them, um, making sure that. Uh, also that I'm probably more importantly putting them in situations to be successful, uh, making sure that we're prepared, um, which in, you know, um, I, I would say that, that we are, I, I have a high confidence and in, in, in high belief that we, that they are prepared. Um, and, uh, and you got to be patient with them. 
you gotta be patient with them. I mean, you gotta allow them to fail, allow them to struggle, uh, let them know you love them, um, let them know that, you know, the standards is standard. And uh, if we make mistakes, we can make mistakes, we're trying to make the same one again. Uh, we try to learn from, uh, learn from the losses and uh, try to hold on to the wins. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just one of those things that I, I think every team kind of deals um, with that. I think we as, you know, just uh, humans deal with that as from a confidence things and, and it's, it's easy. Um, and that, that, that really more has to go with knowing who you are uh, as a person, not just as a baseball player or coach and things like that. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that I, I think it's just one of those things you have to deal with. You know, I, I think, I think I can push all the levers, but I can't give them confidence. I can't believe, I can't believe for them, but I can believe in them. This might sound kind of weird, but one of the things that I was always taught growing up in sports was, you know, you have two types of done days. You have toilet days, and then you have days that you kind of look back on and kind of build from, where the toilet days are the bad days where you just kind of nothing went right. You just kind of flush that down the memory mm-hmm. toilet, and you just kind of forget about it. But then you have the good days where you're like, hey, this is what we did good. Do you look at this series kind of as like a toilet series or like, hey, here's what we did well. Let's kind of build on this. Yeah. Um, I, I probably don't. I mean, the scoreboard – is the easy thing. Um, and I think that's there for everybody to see, uh, except on Sunday when the scoreboard stopped working. Uh, and, and so I, I, you know, it's funny, I had a coach um, that, that talked about that one time. He said, you know, could you tell who was winning by, by, by how they were playing? Could you, could, what could you see? Um, you know, you, you shouldn't be able to, you know, tell if our team's winning or losing uh, by the enthusiasm, um, you know? And so I, I, I think there's something, uh, to that, but I, you know, as far as I, don't, I try not to get caught up in just the result, um, even though this is a results-based business and, and that's a, it's a result results-based world uh, that we live in. But that's not necessarily how the, the types of relationships we have. Um, it, it's I would say more uh, because it, when you lose, the good gets lost. I mean, um, I thought, uh, for instance, on Friday night. Um, I thought it takes guts to steal home. Balls coming in, uh, different plays. First time Braden Duhon's ever done that. Um, that 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 if you win that game, you're talking about that. It's a it becomes a little bit more of a different situation versus uh, what happens. Uh, then uh, in the same night, Daniel Hecker, first time really coming back and pitching extended. Um, so I think if you the problem is when you flush things, you flush everything down. You know what I mean? That's the problem when you when you pull weeds. Sometimes you pull good stuff too. Um, and so you got to be you got to be careful with those things and not get too wrapped up in it. Um, it, it it's one of those things that uh, maybe keeps you from getting too high. Um, you know, and maybe not seem overly excited sometimes. That that's that I get that a little bit. Uh, but then I try not to be too low, kind of at the same time. But um, and I know I know people say that, but I I, I wanted to kind of explain that you know because obviously i'm really excited to get out of there with a third with a 13 six win um and excited and they say if you're only going to win one yeah win the last one okay because that's the one that stays with you but and so i'm excited as much as i'm excited about that that inning and and what happened i look at the totality of it because if you want to sustain success if you want to have that again if you want to repeat it there's got to be a recipe um you know that that's that's what successful franchises do there's a playbook and you follow it um um because that's that's just how it works uh who are you gonna pitch on wednesday do you know yet everybody Everybody. (laughs) so uh not well i say that not everybody but i don't know i probably i I didn't really push the envelope yesterday. I want to see how guys feel today. Um, we won't throw anybody uh, more than a get up, get down one time uh, that we want to have available for Friday. That would be what our plan would be. Um, what does that mean starting? I want to get out to a good start. I think that's important. Um, I don't know what the what the best – one with that is, but I'm going to kind of check to see how guys are. What about your weekend rotation? Any changes you think? Or? I think it's going to be the same three guys. Um, I, 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 you know, it's hard to uh, discredit what Grant Rogers did on Friday. Um, and I think it's also hard to stay on what happened with Ty Abraham. You know what I'm saying? He's been so good for us. And uh, uh, so um, I think it will be those three guys. Um, I still may leave open the need to – TBA on Sunday because I think um, I think Chance Stone as much as I'd like to have Friday Saturday Sunday uh, man if I need an arm 
or a, a, if I need an arm on a, in an extra inning game on a Friday night, then I, I want to be ready for that. So, um, so we'll see. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see kind of, but I think, I think we all know who all is going to pitch uh, in that. And I think that's going to be our guys and we'll have see if some guys can kind of emerge from these non-conference games as well. Um, but uh, I, I don't see anything totally surprising coming up this weekend. What about the first uh, actual road trip with where you're staying over? Um, it's a long way into the season to have one. It is. It, it, it really is strange. Um, it, it, it wasn't necessarily by design. It's just kind of how it worked, um, you know, with the, with the conference changing uh, as quickly as it did and still so much uncertainty at the time of making schedules and, you know, where do you take a road trip to and, uh, you know, um, we, we certainly weren't in a position to go get on a plane. Um, and at the time, you didn't know, man, if you had to be vaccinated to go play somewhere. You know what I mean? There, there were just so many different things kind of going on. So um, I've got a lot of guys that have been on road trips before, you know, like a lot of guys. There, there aren't many guys that are on our team that um, haven't been on a road trip before. So um, I don't see that being an issue. We'll have to cover a couple of things, like how many guys get to be in a room and what time, what, what does it mean to be in, in your room? What does it mean to be lights out? There's a couple of things. We can probably knock that out in about a five minute meeting. So. And um, last, last uh, what did I have for the last question? Ah, now you made, oh yeah, the, um, your lineup. Do you want to set lineup eventually or do you mind kind of the rotation? I mean, I, I think there's a, I think there's a rhythm to a lineup um, when you, when you can have it. Um, one of the things that, that we got to figure out, um, and again, it doesn't mean it has to be the same nine every time. I mean, I, I think we can kind of have balance. We know if a left-handed reliever co is coming in, these guys know to get ready. I think Connor Westenberg knows when he needs to start getting his legs loose for things. I think you're starting to see some of those things, some, some, you know, I don't want to just call it roles, but Hey, this is, this is where I, this is where I go. You know what I mean? This is kind of how I fit. And, uh, so the more we can find, you know, everybody where they fit in uh, to help this team win while also giving them opportunities to improve. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, – I don't know 100% for sure, but uh, I, I know that, that Nichols has a good left-hander um, that, that, that goes – that went on game one. Uh, and so we'll, we'll see, you know, if we can learn how to fight that battle. Um, it wasn't something that we had a chance to really learn uh, with this – with only having one left-hander this past year that wasn't even able to pitch during the fall. So uh, we have to kind of learn, um, you know, with, with live ammo, if that, you know, with the game on the line. So that's something we're going to have to learn uh, this week.